Hey guys, so she's crafty here and today's video was inspired by basically my husband. I did tell him I was going to make an American Girl doll bed, but he thought I was saying a dog bed, so it's for either or. So first thing we're going to start off with is six of these foam cardboards that I got from the Dollar Tree. Two of them I actually got from Walmart. And being that the American Girl dolls are 18 inches in length, I'm going to be cutting these to 23 inches. That is because I am giving room for the headboard, the footboard, pillows, and covers as well. So I want to make it a little roomy for either American Girl doll or a dog bed. I really do like the foam boards from Walmart, but they are about $3 a piece. So I only have two. You can use either or. They really don't have to be from Walmart. You can actually use the ones from the Dollar Tree, but I would prefer you to use six in total. So you want to cut all of them to 23 inches in length. The width will stay the same as the American Girl doll is going to have a queen size bed. And I'm just going to take my straight razor and I'm just going to cut into the foam board. And I'm going to do this six times in total. Once again, I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure to 23 inches in length and I'm just going to stop where the 23 is at and go across the board, make a straight line with either a pen, pencil or marker where you can see it and then cut that off. You will save these extra six pieces of cardboard that you cut off, put those aside for a later use in this same project. And be careful when you're using either a straight razor or a Zacto knife as these things are sharp. I prefer the straight razor as it gets the job done a lot better than an Exacto knife. And once you have them all cut, just set them aside for later on use. You're then going to take your um, foam boards, all six of them, and you're going to glue them all together. I'm going to be using a very strong adhesive glue which is the Well Bond. I really do like this stuff. It dries quickly and it really does bond good. I did purchase this from Hobby Lobby. It's $9.99 but with a 40% off coupon you can get it. I think it was like $5.99. So you just want to go ahead and take that. This is the huge bottle and like I said this is some really good glue. So you just want to spread that on and it does dry really quick and you only need this welding glue for this particular portion of the project. And I'm just going to do that on each board, stacking them on top of each other and gluing them on. This is basically making a platform for the bed. And the reason why I said to use six is because it has to be strong enough for either a small dog, D-O-G, or a doll. So you do want to make the surface a, a bit sturdy and six foam boards would definitely work. These are the pieces that we have left over and I'm going to be measuring those to cut the sides. I want the sides to look really nice and neat. So I'm just going to take and place it up against the board, the platform bed. And I'm just going to take my pen and run it alongside the cardboard extra piece. So that way I know where to cut it. And as you see, I'm just using my pen to mark exactly where I need to cut this extra piece of cardboard that I had remaining. And I'm going to cut that into enough pieces to cover up each side of my boards. If you can see the marking, I do apologize because it's pen ink. You probably really can't see it, but they're there. And I'm just going to cut into those. And I'm going to make enough of those to cover all the sides of the platform bed. And you want to make sure that you are protecting your surface when cutting because you don't want to ruin any type of countertop or surface. And I'm just going to cut a bunch of these and I'm just going to use this one here to measure the rest of them. And 
And now that I have them all cut, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure and make sure that they fit properly. And of course, some of them I will need to add a little bit extra on. As you see, the bottom piece fits properly. I don't need any extra pieces. So I'm just gonna take my hot glue. And this is a high temperature hot glue. And I'm just going to put that all onto the pieces that I cut. And then glue it onto the edges, just so that way it'll be neater. You just want to make sure you're pressing that onto the board. And if you have any gapping or you've missed any places, you just want to take your hot glue gun like you see right there on the opposite side and just put a little bit extra. You want to repeat these steps onto the entire board on each side. Now for right now, I only did the bottom and the top, but you will need to do this on all of the sides. And just for a little bit of extra protection, I'm going to be using some of this strong adhesive black tape from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to do that just to cover up the edges and make it a little bit more sturdy as well as a little bit more neater. You can use whatever tape you have. I prefer this black tape because it's actually really good when placing glue or hot glue on it. It just kind of adheres better to any glue. So I would say use the black tape that you get from the Dollar Tree or silver masking tape. But try not to use any type of clear packing tape as that's kind of hard to adhere hot glue or glue to. And you just want to repeat that on all sides of the actual platform bed, meaning you want to cover the headboard, the footboard, meaning the top, the bottom, and both left and right sides with cardboard and the actual black tape as you see me do here. I'm just going to repeat that. And I do apologize if I'm just repeating myself. I just want you guys to know that you will need to repeat this on all four sides of the board. Now this little piece here is going to also be for the sides. As I was saying, some of the pieces for the longer sides will not match up, so you will need to cut a smaller portion off of another piece of cardboard. And you're going to do the same thing, hot glue those pieces on, and then use the black tape once again to adhere it. Now for the feet, I'm going to be using the silver trays that you also get from the Dollar Tree. These are in the wedding sections and they do come in a four pack. There are a four pack, two pack, and a single pack. These are the four pack as they are sm smaller. I'm going to be taking a soldering gun, which I did purchase from Amazon for $10. These are great for making holes into plastic without messing the plastic up. If you are not comfortable while using a soldering gun, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube, but these are really easy to use. You can always ask for assistance. I do have the temperature up to 450 degrees, and I'm going to be using some screws from Ikea just to screw into the board. You don't have to make holes into the foam boards as the screwdriver will do that for you. And once you do that, as I stated, the spirit board is really sturdy because it is six boards in total. Now these are garden fences that I did get from the 99 cents only store about a year ago and I really didn't have any need for them so I decided I would make a bed out of them. They are 19 inches in width across so that is the reason why I did not have to cut the bed or the foam boards across. I only needed to cut them on the longer length and that is because I wanted to make it into a queen size bed. So I'm going to go ahead and take that same soldering gun and I'm going to make holes into the foam boards with it. This gun, this soldering gun is amazing for projects like this. It takes a lot of time out of digging into the foam boards by hand and it also melts the foam and once it melts the foam and you're able to place your garden uh, fences into it, it kind of like molds onto it. 
and this is also great for cutting the legs of the garden fences as I did want the footboard to be a little bit lower down in height. So I'm just going to take off some of the legs from the garden fence. And these garden fences actually were only a dollar at the 99 cents only store. You can find these on Amazon, basically anywhere. But let me tell you guys, I did see these same exact ones, the same exact ones on QVC, a set of six for $24. That's ridiculous when I only paid a dollar. Now as you guys see, I'm just fitting them into the holes that I made with the soldering gun. And I'm just trying this out just to make sure that it's in place. As you guys can see, it's very sturdy. The feet are on. I did decide it late at night that I wanted to make the bed pink. But then I thought, yeah, I didn't like it and pink. It kind of looked cheesy. So I decided to use some of these foam strips that I did get at Hobby Lobby. I do believe they were $1.99 a piece. But, you know, I did get them on sale. I'm going to be cutting each one going the long way four inches in width so I'm going to be able to make three strips out of each foam sheet and I'm going to be cutting these because I want to cover up the black tape around the bed so this is going to serve as a border yeah I really didn't like the pink the pink kind of made it look cheesy and as I slept on it overnight, I realized that gold would be a lot better because it would just make it look so much more glamorous and elegant versus pink. I mean, the pink was only because my dog is a girl, but she still can go with gold. I just think that gold would look a lot better. So I went ahead and pulled out these sheets that I already had in my craft stash and I'm just going to be taking them. And like I stated, I'm going to be marking each piece in fours and I'll be able to cut three strips out of each one. Now to glue them onto the edges, I first thought that I would use the welding glue, but as you guys will notice, the welding glue does dry really quick, but not quick enough. So as you see, I'm going to be using the welding glue as I was just stating, and it does grind dry quick but it dries really quick on paper products and being that the tape is not paper it took a little bit longer to dry so I then had to remove it and I also had to go ahead and add some hot glue along with this I didn't really want to stand here for too long holding this so I just removed it as you see right here and I used some hot glue I would prefer to use both I wouldn't say just use hot glue only because hot glue doesn't last forever so try to use a mixture of hot glue and another strong adhesive the hot glue will just hold it on instantly so that's the reason why I do like the hot glue and I'm just going to take it and fold it right at the very edge of the trimming and then flip it over and the reason why I chose each gold strip to be four inches in width is just to make sure that I had enough. I didn't want it to just fit or just barely just show. So I wanted to make sure that the gold strips were at least underneath the mattress that I did create. And I'm just going to continue to do this around the entire bed or the entire platform. Now, I didn't realize that my battery had died when I was making the mattress, but the mattress I only actually used some old foam that I had laying around in my house. I'm just going to continue on, you know, trimming that border all around until it's done. Now, as you guys see, it's all finished. And I still want to jazz it up some, so I'm going to be using some of this bling wrap that I did purchase from Amazon. It comes in a six row. I did cut it down. And this stuff is great because you can cut it down as much as you want, or you can use them as just a single each. So I cut mine into two rows and you get 11 yards for about $10 on Amazon. I'll be sure to link the information below.
and I'm just going to use that all around the entire platform and now as you see here I have three rows and each row has um, you see I think it's four rows and each row has three or six something like that I'll show you guys again but I'm making these for corners as you guys can see they stand up really well and I'm just going to use these at the corners but I actually did take the trimming and use it all around the entire portion of the bed now once again that is actually four rows and each row has three on them as you guys see right here or three rows of four either way I do say it's four rows and each row has a three little diamond folds on them and you just want to bend them into like corners and then hot glue them on and as you see right there all around the trimming it makes it look a little bit more elegant when you make it like this with the little corners I thought it gave it like a nice little added touch now as you guys seen I did go ahead and spray this gold with the rust-oleum gold metallic with shiny bright finish I love that finish and I'm just going to stick it into the holes that I did create earlier but once I did put the foam sheets on I didn't I did have to kind of like find the holes again and I also decided that the legs were not short enough so I just decided to move just a little bit more of the bottom footboard and I'm going to have to take my soldering gun and just make the hole a little bit bigger as the foam sheet kind of is a little bit thick but once you place these into the holes as you see I'm making it a little bit bigger once you place your garden fences into the foam after you've drilled or soldered a hole in it it kind of like melts around it which makes it really sturdy the soldering gun is really useful they have many of them on Amazon I went for a really cheap one ten dollars it goes up to 450 degrees and it gets hot really fast watch out not to burn yourself I burnt myself with this thing and trust me it is no joke And I'm also going to be placing hot glue in the holes just to hold them together. This is the foam that I used. Like I said, it was some old foam that I had. And I just basically hot glued two pieces together and had some fabric that I hot glued on top of the extra foam mattress. I made it thick enough for my dog to be extra comfortable in. You can use basically any foam you have laying around because you will be covering it up. And I'm going to use another piece of fabric that I had laying around which is like a faux fur and I thought this was really cute because it kind of you know brings out the gold in this especially once I decorate the headboard and the footboard of this bed now I'm going to be using some items from my local Dollar Tree I love these self adhesives these are hearts they do self adhesive but because they're so small I'm still going to glue them on with some hot glue because I don't really trust these things so I'm going to be sticking them everywhere onto the butterfly wings where you see the holes at as you see right here and for the two mirrored balls on the antennas of the butterflies these are actually Christmas tree ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I'll show you those in a second but this is how it came out really really pretty and these are the actual foam decoration ornaments from the Dollar Tree for Christmas I just pop out the actual strings and then because they're foam I just stick them onto the antennas right through the bottom where the strings were and they stay on perfectly and these do come in the colors of red gold and silver so if you do see these pick them up because Christmas time has amazing decorations at the Dollar Tree that you can use for all types of crafts. But I love the way this came out. It looks actually very pretty and it doesn't look like anything created from the Dollar Tree. I love this. You can get these floral fences anywhere and all you have to do is just decorate it and use this for your American Girl doll or a small size doll. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think and how would you jazz up an American Girl doll bed or a dog or a dog bed for your dog. 
Like I said, I'll leave all of the information in the links down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video as well. And if you guys enjoy DIY projects as much as I do, then stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to She's Crafty and Stuff's YouTube channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.